Welcome! I'm so excited that you could join us today. There is so much planned, so let's jump right in and sing our first song. Come on, put them together tonight! that you are a big brother. And I think your sister's name is Melissa? Melissa, yes. Excellent, and do you know what? We sang a really, really, really great song together. Oh, wow. Do you want me to sing it for you? Uh, um, I can sing no, it for no, you no. right now. No, 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 that is okay. We will save that for another time. Um, did you know that my mom said that since I'm a big brother, I have to act like a big brother? That's true. You do need to act like a big brother to Melissa. Well, what do you do? Well, I 
think it means I need to be nice to her mm -hmm. and to protect her mm -hmm. and to share my toys with her. Those are all really awesome things. But do you know that you need to do that actually with other people, not just your sister? What? Yes. Yeah, Seriously? God, yeah, God calls us to do that. God is so holy and he's so, you know what? I think we should really listen to the Bible lesson today. It actually talks a lot about this. Okay, let's and then we do that. Can, we can come back after and discuss it a little bit. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Okay. Let's go sing the song with Melissa. That's okay. Your actions were so good. It is time for our Bible lesson, so let's take a seat and open your Bibles. Excellent boys and girls, well, welcome back again. It's me, Pastor Dwight, and I just have to say, I'm really glad and excited that you guys continue to make Northview Kids part of how you grow to learn more about Jesus. I have a question for you guys, though. What do you think God is like? Wherever you are, I just want you guys to shout it out. What is God like? I love all those answers. You see, Peter, who's one of Jesus' followers, well, you guys know Peter. Peter, the guy that, you know, who was in the boat when there was a great storm and Jesus called him out and he walked on the water. Peter was also that guy when they were in the Garden of Gethsemane when they came to arrest Jesus. He's the guy that cut off the soldier's ear. Peter was also that guy who denied Jesus three times. But Peter was also someone who loved Jesus, and Peter wrote a letter to remind Christians of what God has done. 
You see, boys and girls, when a person believes God's good news about Jesus, when a person believes that good news, it changes the way that he or she lives. And, and Peter encouraged Christians to live like Jesus. Peter wrote that God's people should be holy because believers have hope. What is our hope? The hope that Jesus is coming back again. And Peter wrote this. He wrote, before you trusted in Jesus, you lived however you wanted and you did evil things. Jesus gave his life to save you so you could have true life in him. And Jesus, Peter said, is like the perfect lamb that God's people sacrificed. Peter also wrote this, but I'm not going to read what he wrote. I've got a friend who's going to read it to us. So go ahead, scripture reader. Hi, I'm Micah. Today I will be reading from the Bible. So be watchful and control yourselves completely. In this way, put your hope in the grace that lies ahead. This grace will be bought to, brought to you when Jesus Christ returns. You should obey your Father. You shouldn't give in to evil desires. They controlled your life when you didn't know any better. The God who chose you is holy, so you should be holy in all that you do. It is written, be holy because I am holy. See ya! Awesome, thank you. So again, boys and girls, I ask you, what is God like? Well, our scripture reader reminded us that God is holy. But what does it mean to be holy? It, you know, to be holy means to be, to be set apart. It means to be different from everybody else, everything else around you. As creator, God is different from his creation. Just like when you build a Lego thing, you are different from that Lego thing that you created. And God is different from us, his creation. And God calls us to be different too. God wants us to be like him, including the way we love one another. You see, before we, we only cared about ourselves and we fought, we complained. But God said, because God is loving, he wants us to love one another. Now, is it always easy to love one another? No, is it, is it easy to love that kid that bullies you at school? Or is it easy to always love your sibling when they just annoy you all the time? No, boys and girls, it's not easy to love one another, but it is good. Peter also wrote this. He wrote, our life on earth will not last forever. It's like grass and flower that fades away. You see, boys and girls, long ago, the, the Israelites, the people of Israel, they were waiting for God to send the promised rescuer, the rescuer who would save them from their sins. And today, we remember that God kept his good promise. How did he do this? By sending Jesus. And you and I can be holy. You and I can be holy because of our hope in Jesus. Let's watch this video. Peter, a follower of Jesus, wrote a letter to Christians. He reminded them of what God had done for them. When a person believes God's good news about Jesus, it changes the way he or she lives. Peter's letter encouraged Christians to live like Jesus. Peter told God's people that they should be holy. Believers have hope because Jesus will come again. Peter wrote, before you trusted in Jesus, you lived however you wanted and did evil things. Jesus gave his life to save you so that you could have true life in him. Jesus is like the perfect lamb that God's people sacrificed. Peter wrote, now you are God's children, so don't go back to how you used to live. Obey God, he has a better life for you. Peter reminded believers of God's words to the Israelites. God had said, be holy because I am holy. What does it mean to be holy? Being holy means being set apart. It means being different from everyone else. As creator, God is different from all of his creation. God calls us to be different too. He wants us to be like him, including in the way that we love one another. Before, we cared only about ourselves. We fought and complained. But God is loving, so he wants us to love one another instead. Loving one another isn't always easy, but it is good. Peter wrote, our life on earth will not last forever. 
It is like the grass and flowers that fade away. Long ago, the Israelites were waiting for God to keep his good promise to send a rescuer to save people from their sins. Today, we remember that God kept his good promise by sending Jesus. We can be holy because of our hope in Jesus. No one is like God. God is holy, good, and loving. Jesus shows us what God is like and gives us hope. God can make us more like Jesus. We can trust him and live joyfully for him. Awesome boys and girls, no one is like God. Why? Because God is holy, God is good, and God is loving. Jesus shows us what God is like and gives us hope. God can make us more and more like Jesus, and when we trust Him, we can joyfully live for Him. That is good news. I hope you guys can trust in the good news of Jesus. I love you guys. We'll see you guys again. It's time to learn our Unit 6 memory verse. The words are going to come on the screen and I'm going to do the action, so I'd love if you stood up on your feet and did them with me. Here we go. Lord, who among the gods is like you? Who is like you? You are majestic and holy. Your glory fills me with wonder. You do amazing things. Exodus 15 verse 11. Awesome. We're going to do it again, but let's say it even louder. Here we go. Lord. Who among the gods is like you? Who is like you? You are majestic and holy. Your glory fills me with wonder. You do amazing things. Exodus 15, verse 11. Awesome job, guys. Happy memorizing. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me.
Thank you so much for joining us today, friends. Let us pray together before you go. Thank you, Lord, for this day and for our Bible lesson. And we pray that you would be with us in this coming week. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget your discussion questions, and we'll see you again next week. Bye!